So let's get back to the show. It's the Home Movie Legacy Project on the Rockstar Radio Network. And here again is your host, Rhonda Vigent. Welcome back to the Home Movie Legacy Project, where my guest today is Linda Brown, documentarian, professor, Fulbright scholar. And before we went to break, Linda, we were just talking about the importance of documentarians. You know, because we both live and work in Hollywood, we understand the importance of the Hollywood point of view when it comes to telling stories, even ones that are based on on true stories. But yet, the documentarian plays such an important role in shaping the culture, the stories of our lives, and getting messages out that can really help affect change. What are your comments about the state of documentary filmmaking today? Uh, it's a very exciting time for documentaries. I think that we've seen a resurgence in their popularity. And I think that they can tell stories that fiction films just really can't approach. There's something so compelling in the beautiful, awkward plainness of subjects in documentaries that we can immediately relate to. They're not polished the way an actor is. And there's something in some times in that quietness, that uncomfortableness of the camera that is so endearing and touching. And it's something that fiction films just can't do because that's not their goal. And Linda, I would like to know, what are your plans for the film? At this point, what I'm thinking about is first festival circuit and maybe concurrently broadcast. Okay. Um, That broadcast for documentaries is just a great outlet. It really reaches the broadest audience. You know, PBS stations, uh, ITVS, POV. uh, Now we have the documentary channel. So it's a great outlet. And then uh, what I would like to do is I'm also beginning to reach out to nonprofits to partner with them, talking with the uh, Stroke Association, some domestic violence support groups, and caregiver support groups. And uh, so I see it really working in terms of issue-related groups. And then also I have been talking to people in this field of narrative medicine. Mm, And What is that exact thing? I think the best way to think of it is that you treat the patient and not the disease. Mm -hmm. And yes, and I've been in touch with people at the medical school here at USC and uh, having the film shown in their classes. Also part of the narrative medicine program at Columbia University. I've been in conversation with some folks there also. Which is, you know, so important and just so, I think, timely because our parents are living much longer. And as you said, we are the sandwich generation, the baby boomers. So if people want to find out more about the film, Linda, what's the website? The website is youseememovie.com. Okay, and I believe that I also saw on the website you're collecting a list of names if people want to get involved with some of the uh, organizations you're outreaching to. Is that correct? That's correct. And with that, Linda, we're out of time. Thank you so much for visiting the Home Movie Legacy Project. I can't wait to see the finished film. I admire you on so many levels as a documentarian, professor, comrade, and friend. Everybody, (laughs) it's a wrap.